Hi everyone, just come to show you a paper craft haul that I've recently bought and I'm going to give you some ideas on some of the stuff that I've bought. So this is just a tiny flower punch and uh, these are brilliant for using up your scraps. I usually punch out two colours, of a coloured cardstock and a white cardstock, glue them together and uh, put a little bling on top and they make ideal embellishments for your scrapbooks, tags, cards, what have you. And I also put a lot of these in little bags and send them out in um, racks and swaps. So that's the first thing I bought. The next thing was this. I thought it was washi tape at first, but it's actually um, ribbon, fabric ribbon tape. So... I had some of these already in pink, so I bought a pale blue one and that will be used as borders in a baby uh, in a baby boy album. I'm just trying to shine the light on it so you see the shade. It's pale blue and white. So that was that. Whoops. Also got these. Um, these. These were reduced because it's an old paper line. Um, home to nest when I say old I think it came out last year and it's by paper mania and these are just the memory pockets you get five in them and they're exactly like um, seed packets I really like them so I've got loads of the home to nest collection so I thought well it'll go with them and I like the fact that they're like seed packets so that's that and then you might have seen in my last haul, I bought a lot of these, but they only had, um, in, the sh in the branch I went to, they only had one Christmas one. So I went to another branch and I got two, they had two left of the Christmas ones. These must be an old line because um, in all the branches that I've been to, sorry for the glare, um, the these were all reduced and I think they're stopping selling them. But basically these are a pocket with 10 tickets inside and it says 10 things I love and that this one's Christmas. So I got another two of those. Um, last time they didn't have many of the winter ones so I was able to pick up the last winter one in this branch. And I got this, the baby boy one. I didn't get many of those last time. And I used the baby boy ones for my albums. And um, if I've got excess of these, I've got excess of the spring ones. I've been gifting them in swaps. So that's four packets of those. I got these. I'll put them in landscape. Because they're quite long. Oh, I think they're more than 12 inches long. Oh, hang on a minute. And these are, um, they're calling them crystal stickers, but they're the self tees of bling, and you get absolutely loads. And these are mostly the pale pinks, the pale blues, so ideal for the baby albums. And then you've got a royal blue, and um, some purples, and some jet black. So that was good, uh, a good buy. Then I got these, 10 glitter gel pens and they're in this nice hard case and the colours are fantastic, I just, they're the colours that you get, I'll see if I can, see if it picks up the glitter. Let's see, you can see. See, it's, it's picking up slightly, I think. But lovely colours and they're glittery, so they'll come in handy for various things. So that was them. Oh, then I got this. Um, I think they call it a Jacob's Ladder. But when I was a child, I used to get these in the shape of a snake. And uh, you held it and it, you know, moved all around. But what I bought it for, as you can see, the ribbon's being cut there. I've got loads of mini images and I wanted to make uh, do a domino swap with someone. 
the only dominoes I had were tiny little things. You cannot get anywhere the great big old dominoes you used to be able to get. I've searched high and low, can only find the tiny ones. So I thought, oh, this will be ideal. I can make like a domino book, but with these blocks of coloured wood. And I've cut the end one off. And um, my God, I don't know what glue they've used, but they've, these are glued really tight so if i can part them um that's what i'll be using them for because they're a bit thick to use to either end maybe i might might be able to do that so anyway that's why i bought that um right i bought two of these let me clear the deck so i can show the next thing Sorry for the crinkle. These were reduced, these tins. I think they should have been £8 each. And uh, as I say, they are reduced. There's one. Off for sticky notes. And let me open them. Inside you get all these. I've not taken the cling off this yet, so sorry if there's a glare. But you get the um, the large ones with the typewriter on. So what I'll be doing with these is backing them onto thick card and using them as journal cards. So you get the typewriter one there. You get a picture of a mini envelope there with urgent stamped on it. These are the page uh, savers. There's just a keyboard that says to do, so that'll be good for to-do lists. And then this one's got an image of all different colour pencils. Another page keeper, tape measure and just some safety pins. Uh, not safety pins, paper clips. And it says read this. And then these, I thought, well that's a bit strange. Why would you get triangle, what, what could you use with tri tiny? triangle stickers uh, sticky notes and i've come up with this idea just one of my journal cards and i've taken four of the triangle stickers and i've put them in each corner so these are out the other pack with strawberries on and then just journal in the middle so it decorates the journal card and you could uh, glue them onto pages to strengthen the corners of pages in albums and things like that so that's just a little idea for the triangles and then the one on top of that looks like lined paper with a margin and it says just a little note so they'll be ideal to paste on the front of 3b3 cards so and these all come out so you could alter the tin and just all backed onto a, a thick piece of card wrapped in polythene so that's one and that's the office sticky notes and the other one i've got is called just trying to open it this one's called my life and this label here comes off and the label underneath comes off so easy peel labels so they'll come off and then you can reuse the tins with the little glass fronts so this is my life and in front of these i'll turn that light off this one is um gorgeous daisies white daisies and it says i really should on top of there there's um it looks like a little piece of craft paper with a stamp stuck on it and then the two page savers says live life and then just a butterfly on that one this page keeper here says to do and it's got a little piece of fruit on and then fyi for your information on there then the four triangles and one's got a button on some's got some strawberries and the other two are like lacy designs and then on top of there just to say so they were well worth the money as i say they were both reduced and the you know so many uses for the sticky notes and then you've got the tins as well um this is a large piece of as the packet says there hang on linen fabric and there's the size 
and let me turn that it's like a, a sandy colour and what I did with this I cut a small piece off um, and I stamped it let me show you I stamped it a flower and it's, the text says especially for you I backed it onto card and then I done all the perimeter with the white lace so I'm going to make a few of these and they'll be for journal cards or front panels for mini cards. I mean, you can do any size. i just done this size, which is approximately an A7 size. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do some more stamping on this linen. And uh, there's one of the examples for that. Then I bought some of this. It's called... A4 adhesive fabric and you get five sheets and I'll just take them out the polythene so you can see the shades without the glare sorry for the noise so I like this these are like vintage designs and you get that one which I like very much and that's they're quite thin actually the thinner than what i thought they'd be but it does, that's okay let me move that out so you get that design that design i like that i'm not sure about the next one i'm not sure if i like that or not that design it's very similar to the first one but a lot darker and then the last one i like that very pretty so you get five sheets of that and they're all A4. Now the only thing I didn't like about this when I opened the packet and because they're all folded you've got this big crease mark so and I, I don't think I'll be ironing it because with it being having the glue on the back it was melting but that might be a problem that crease. And they've all got the crease in because they've all been folded up over a piece of thick cardstock. But apart from that, I'm quite pleased with it. So I'll be using the, this fabric on some um, album covers. And I've also recently bought a thick cardboard chest. And with this being self-adhesive, it'll cling around the curves and co cover that quite nicely. So that was another good buy. Then I bought several packets of these in all different sizes because I use absolutely loads of these self-seal bags that's an A6 and the other, that one there I think is a 7x8 so I picked up a couple of them then I picked up a couple of these and I'll be making some um, albums with these the first ones I'm putting it that way because too big to put this way but this is a frozen book with sticker scenes so you get a stack of stickers of all different sizes in there and then I also bought this frozen and you get over 700 stickers in this I think you get a couple of pages of the quite big stickers like that and then the rest I think are tiny and then I also always cut out the images on the packaging and this book I might use the, the front cover of that and cover half of it and use that as the cover of the album so that was a good one then I got these I don't know how let me see if it says 70 sheets of A4 cardstock and the like pastel colors there pale blue pink white pale green and yellow and I got 70 sheets of that. So that's this comes in handy for die cutting and also children's albums. Let me just straighten the tripod, sorry. So that's that. I used tons of cardstock and I got two packets of the A4 in, in the white, which is... Uh, let me see, a 220 weight 
and I got a packet of the black which is only 200 in weight go through packets of them like there's no tomorrow right and then the last thing is this let me move the camera back a little bit this is a gift wrap collection and it's got 10 tear out sheets full size wrapping paper it doesn't say the size but they are uh, A4, A3 let me work it out I think the size A2 yeah I think they're an A2 size and it's a lovely cover which I'll definitely be recycling the cover of this and I'll show you the designs but I'll show you on the back of the book save me opening it all out they're the full page designs and see these I'll even cut these out and use them on a set of cards recycle everything don't waste anything oh here's the size 494 millimeters by 694 millimeters but the only thing right although it's been got the perforation to rip out as i started to i creased the perforation and i tried to rip it out and it it was tearing the actual page as you can see there so then i had to get the scissors and try and try my best to cut it but all the edges are up and you can see by what's left here you can see it's all completely rough so that's the only thing although it was perforated it was um not ideal to tear these pages all cut them out very difficult but they're the designs and i wish that the it was in a polythene packaging so i couldn't really see it before i bought it but i would have preferred let me just I would have preferred um, a matte paper over the gloss. This is gloss and I've put the light out somewhat so you can't see the gloss but I'll turn the light back on in a few minutes. It's a glossy paper which I prefer as I say the matte. But the designs are lovely. I love the red one. I love this pale green and yellow. It's, they are lovely designs. And as I say, it's called wrapping paper, but of course I'll be using it for craft paper and it'll be ideal for things where you need a bigger piece of paper than a 12 by 12 um, with them being so, so big. Oh, yeah, I'll just show you the glossiness, sorry. I don't know if that's picking it up, but all the pages are glossy. I'm not keen on that when I'm crafting. Anyway, so there's my haul and some ideas. So hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye.